Hi everyone, Maggie here with Kay from Cool Cats Craft, just showing you our never-ending strip dies. Now, these are six inches in length. They have no cutting edge, which means you can continuously run a continuous strip. They have a centering line there. They have a little tiny notch each end, just actually showing where the cutting line is. Hold on. Okay, go, go. So you've got a little tiny, it's a quite dis difficult to see, but a little tiny not showing you where the cutting line is on each end. And you have two straight edge cut dies, one with a dotted effect and one with a stitched effect, but it's more like mini rectangles. And then you have two decorative edge dies. Again, some with little dots, little tiny circles, some with a stitched effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different demos, uh, one using a straight edge and one using a decorative edge. Okay, so we're going to work with the straight edge one first. And all I'm going to do here is just die cut it first of all. Now, when you die cut, that's your decorative edge, that's your decorative piece, like your dots or your dashes, and your cutting line is above. So if you want a decorative edge underneath your cutting line, that's how you want to do it. If you do it that way round, you'll end up with the dots here and the cutting line there. So I'm just going to cut one edge and I'm going to do it in the centre. I'm just going to run it through. So the Teflon coated, so it'll pop off easily. And this is 270 GSM card that is actually cutting. So I'm just going to tear that and tear that there. Okay. So then, to take the bits out, you can just run straight down like that, which is a really nice, quick way to do it. You can use one of those brush thingies, I can't remember what they're called, but um, you know they poke the bits out as well. So that's that there. Now, if you look where the cutting line is, I get a darker piece of card. And if you look on the edge, you can see that that's actually debossed. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is actually turn my die around and I'm going to lock where these holes are. I'm going to lock these holes back in so it's a nice firm fit. Pop my tape on. bit more tape this side, make sure it's nicely locked in. I'm just going to run that back through. I'll just take this one off and you can see that you've got, oh, I didn't run it all the way through the big shot, I'll just tear it off there. You can see that you've got a beautiful decorative strip with a debossed edge a lovely decorative strip you can do all sorts of things with and these dies are pretty you know that's 270 car, 270 GSM it's cut through so that's that one there and you can make it as long as you like because it's a never ending strip die could you see the debossed edges I think so yeah yeah it's just it here and here yeah okay I think it's on the biggest screen we could do yeah okay so this time we're going to use a decorative edge and I've got my dashes at the bottom because I want that to be my cutting line at the top And I've deliberately got a longer piece of paper because I want a strip longer than six inches. So when I put this through the die cutting machine, I'm going to put it through with the die at the top of the paper, okay? So that will go onto my cutting like that and then it will go into my cutting machine like that. So that's the first one that's cut. And it's important that you poke the holes out because you're going to need to make sure that the, the die locks into it again. So we'll just take that out of there. If you use some wax paper in between, then it'll fall out straight away, but they come out so easy. And I would take this bit off here, just trim that bit off and take that bit off as well. Because what you don't want happening is that random bit to go behind and then it could affect your cutting. 
So then we're going to take our die, make sure your holes are poked out again, especially where the tape was. So just poke those little bits out. It will still cut, but it's probably better that you take them out again so it's easier to line up. And I love this effect. I know when we did our weekend at the stamp lot with the album, I had to cut out, I think it was 96 extra long borders. So it took a long time. It did take a long time. And Kay was cutting the tabs. That was over 200. Yes. Okay, so that's cut there. So what you're going to do now is take your, decide how long you want your strip and you're going to lock in, lock it into the holes as it were. It's probably easier if I lift it up and show you once I've done it. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to lock it into there and you'll feel them slot into place. And this time you need to tape it really, really securely because you don't want the die to move. You want to make sure that you can see, put that one on there. You can see where I've locked it onto the other one, you can still see daylight through it. That's all locked into place. Tape this securely, okay? Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to run over the actual end of this die. Because if you do, it's just going to put a little mark in your beautiful debossed line. So when you're putting in your die cutter, this way, this time, you're going to go into your die cutting machine this way round. So your cut edge is already here, so that's not going to get damaged. Um, I'm using old plates. What you can also do is put a piece of paper which finishes where your new line begins, but do it so it, the edge of the paper is before the edge of the die there because you don't want to cut past that. Now this is, I appreciate if you've got an electric die cutting machine, this is hard to do. What you can also do is just line your plates up so they just go to there but an um, ele electronic die cutting machine doesn't always like that. So that's there like that, so now we're just going to run it through. Or you can just have your die hanging over the edge like that. But this is the way I do it. So I'm just going to put it to there. I'm going to run it through. So this has been through the machine, okay? And then you take this off, you've got a lovely continuous strip and your debossed line isn't damaged. What I would recommend is that if you're planning on doing this with some very special paper, anything like that, practice this technique a few times just with copy paper or possibly something a little bit thicker just so you get the hang of it and you know exactly how the dies work. Okay, let's help.